What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm going to be summoning on Legendary Azura's banner and as always with the new banner comes a new giveaway so I'm giving away a $25 Google Play or an iTunes gift card which roughly amounts to 40-45 orbs depending on if you've got a different currency or which are packages you buy and this is a region free giveaway so anyone can enter and the link to it is going to be in the description if you're interested and I also want to congratulate the winner of my previous giveaway which I did for the Christmas banner and let's begin with this legendary banner hoping to get Azura really soon and there are some other units which I want to get uh, Summer Camilla is also another unit which I really want to get uh, so that I can replace um, my Corrin, Summer Corrin, with Summer Camilla on my Flyer Moon team because Summer Camilla just has much better stat spread and if I get extra Camilla then I'll definitely give a juicy wave to my Valentine Lin and give her something like Bullfighter. I really want to do that and Legendary Hector is of course another end which I want to summon. Maybe plus attack IV, who knows. My current uh, Legendary Hector is minus attack. I actually got two Legendary Hectors who were minus attacks. With the new update, uh, that's definitely gonna get fixed. Um, I guess I'm gonna go with the... I guess I'm gonna go with this redstone. Wouldn't really mind getting Marth as well or Summer Young Tiki because both of those have got bad IVs. And related to this, I do have a question uh, from a viewer. And uh, he's pretty much asking me about my thoughts on the new changes to Boons and Banes. Uh, which is going to be coming up in the update very soon. So I'm a really big fan of that because a lot of my minus attack units will get neutralized, at least the merge ones. So uh, they're basically trying to neutralize the Banes uh, with that system, which I really like. A lot of the uh, characters which appear um, in banners every now and then are going to be pretty useful, but it's still going to be really hard to get the merges on seasonal units and on legendary heroes um, if you're trying to fix IVs of your units. Honestly, a really good uh, step in the right direction. I honestly didn't think they would actually do that because they refused to acknowledge uh, boons and banes till now in the game. Like, almost two years. They, this is the first time they have acknowledged boons and banes officially. Um, they used to have this glitch. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably know. But some of the units had this glitch where uh, their boon would be highlighted with the green color. So you could actually see that. I'm pretty sure Valentine Hector had that, uh, Sarja had that as well. And a lot of people speculated that it was the way of showing boons and banes of their characters, which they had, which they probably scrapped away. Uh, kind of like you uh, see them in Pokemon. So, okay, wow, I'm gonna get Legendary Hector. Yes, please be plus attack. I would love to get a plus attack Hector. I do have my Armor Emblem team built around him. Uh, fire blessing team so let's so let's search for Hector this is Bolganon by the way it's a app using which you can check IVs of your units without closing the game uh, this is not plus attack this is uh, minus defense and plus HP okay that's actually not bad I guess I'm just gonna be merging him I'm definitely gonna be merging him uh, legend heroes can be pretty useful upon merging, especially someone like Hector who's uh, really good and has got high BST. But I really wish they had like more uh, rotation units in Arena. Because it would just give more value to these legendary heroes because they will be able to appear more often in the rotation. And honestly, I'm really excited for that Boons and Banes feature. Um, and a question related to that was also by Minty Fresh, so he just asked uh, when I'm gonna be uploading my direct showcase or I guess my five star showcase, which I did in October 2017. Um, so it's definitely been a pretty long time since then. A lot of you guys have been asking for that. I was honestly gonna do it this month, but I saw this news about Boons and Bane, so I think I'm gonna be waiting for that. Um, and I've pretty much built up every single unit in the game, no matter who they are, even Ray, Vres. Like any unit that is in the game, I've upgraded them to 5 star uh, to unlock their confession. So I built all of them. And uh, I try to use a lot of units. I definitely like variety. I don't like to use the same team over and over again. That's one of the things which I really like because if you use uh, like various units, you can hear their voice lines, see their interactions. That's really the amazing part of Fire Emblem Heroes to me. 
the aesthetics, like the art and the voice acting, definitely. So I'm going to be making that uh, barracks showcase whenever uh, this Boons and Banes update comes out. Because then uh, you won't have to see a lot of my minus attack units, uh, at least the merge ones. They will have their Banes neutralized. I'm going to get Priscilla. Okay. I do have a lot of Priscilla's. Pretty decent batch, actually. Four-star units. All right. Next question. So, so they're asking which units have the best chance of winning uh, to their Legends next year. Um, I'm pretty sure the answer is pretty obvious. Like, probably Alm, uh, Mikaya, Selif. Like, any of those units, they have a pretty good chance. And for female, another unit, I'm not really too sure, actually. Uh, females are pretty well represented. Or maybe some kind of beast unit, I don't know, uh, as a female. That could also work. Because beast units have scored really high on Chooser Legends. So I'm guessing one of the uh, next year Chooser Legends winner is going to be some beast. Okay, I'm going to get Chrom. For his ether, got Sophia and Selena. Hoping for legendary Marth here. He's pretty insane with that binding shield. And legendary Marth is absolutely disgusting with this new legendary Azura. Okay. I guess I can just go with this colorless stone. Wouldn't really mind getting Veronica, honestly. Uh, she does have pretty good fodder potential. Wrathful Staff, Close Guard, Windfire Bomb. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. I think my appearance rate should be at 9. Okay, I'm not getting a lot of blue stones. That one something session, I got like 4 blue stones. That was pretty insane. Um. Okay, Sully. Also hoping to get uh, a good Ivy Shida if I can. I'm really hunting for a plus attack minus HP Shida. She does also pretty nice for uh, hero merit farming in rival domains. Pretty good unit if you give her Gale Force. Can work really nicely with her Flashing Blade Refine. And flying units don't really have access to Flashing Blade, so that's something unique that she's got. And I honestly think. Cheetah is just way, way better than clear uh, because red is a much beneficial color for an armor slayer than blue is. Because we have got so many green armor units and clear cannot really do much against them. I guess clear could be a pretty nice uh, blue dual flying user if you get multiple copies of Azura. Uh, Florina could also be nice. You could use like her ploys and she can be a nice cheerleader just weakening uh, foes without really killing them because she doesn't really have the killing power. So that could be a bonus. And who else? I guess um, Shigure, if he gets some kind of preferred weapon. Shigure would also be pretty decent. He's extremely fast. And hoping for a zero. Nope, it's gonna be a Boro. At least you're from the same game. I got a Boro and Camilla. And May and Bowie on the same batch. Yeah, May and Bowie is the main thing. <laughs> but a Boro is probably just standing in disgust. By seeing this Camilla on the right side. I'm gonna go with this redstone as well. Uh, trying to see if I can get Flora. Flora does have attack rest solo, so that would be really nice. But just gonna get Erica. I actually did summon uh, Christmas Erica and Christmas Ephraim from the Tempest Trial Orbs. I did post about that on my Twitter. I spent like 400 orbs on that banner and wasn't able to get the twins. But with like 30 uh, Tempest Trial Orbs, I was able to get both of them. And I actually got an extra Erica. One of that Erica was minus attack, but it's fine. This is actually pretty nice because a lot of people like to IV hunt. And this could probably stop that because IV hunting is such a slippery slope. I do not recommend any kind of person to do that. Nothing is guaranteed. And uh, it can be really annoying, honestly, if you don't get the IVs of the unit, uh, which you want. A lot of people think that they might just get the IVs, uh, which they prefer. And like 11 copies if they are trying to plus 10 merge them, but that's far from truth, honestly. So this new system is going to be nice. Okay, I'm just going to get Seth. 
just I'm gonna go with this redstone too. I got my legendary Hector, which I wanted, uh, which is good. This is at least my first non-minus attack Hector, legendary Hector that is. So that's amazing. And on uh, on greenstones, I don't really have much interest because I already have Hellbendy and Nino. I'm gonna go with this redstone once again. This legendary banner is honestly pretty nice. Like the pools are really good for each color. Every uh, like color has got a pretty powerful unit, a good fodder. Okay, so I'm gonna back out now. Uh, 135 orbs out of these orbs were actually free to play, which I gathered on this account. Okay, finally some blue stones. That's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna get Katria. Yeah, Katria is also a pretty good user of the blue dual flying skill. Okay, I'm just gonna get her sister too. I'm gonna try on this redstone and see if I can get Pala. That would be nice. Now, good old Joey says that he thinks I actually smile like the psychopathic Ephraim, which I made in my Christmas banner review whenever I get something good. Um, and I'm not really too sure if you're spying me or not, but that's a pretty fair comment. I'm definitely smiling like that as I summon this Flora. <laughs> oh my god. I, I was expecting Pala, but I got Flora. Now another thing which really puts a smile on my face are actually good functional uh, free units. That definitely puts a really wide smile on my face that goes all the way up to my ears, I'll tell you that. But whenever I summon uh, someone like, I don't know, S, Ray, Riss, like that smile just converts into a really big frown. But now I like to indulge myself in this wishful thinking. That whenever this game gets like one or two year old, maybe, if it can survive that, which I think it will. Um, they will probably just give us some kind of option to pick units that should be in the permanent summoning pool. And that could just change from player to player. Uh, so they could just give you that kind of control. Because the sample pool of the summoning is going to be increasing with the time. Now as it increases, the chances of getting that particular hero is going to be decreasing thus leading to more unsatisfied players. Right now we've got like 350 uh, plus heroes in the game. Now a lot of those are alts, like a lot of those, and seasonal units and legendary units in general. So I think they might just set some kind of arbitrary limit to the amount of units that can be present in the normal summoning pool. I just like to think that, I know it's a wishful thinking, but so was having some kind of mechanic that can neutralize your banes so I think they might actually do that because there are so many Fire Emblem characters. Not to mention if they just keep rolling out these alts, uh, <laughs> they will definitely be taking some space. So I like to think that they might just have some kind of system, I don't know, one or two year down the road. Um, and uh, using that, I can just check units which I never want to see ever again. Ray, Bot Ray, Res, Est, definitely. Count me in. I'm definitely gonna be checking those units. Okay, so Joey with a really keen uh, observation and uh, as I was reading his comment, I got Flora, which was actually pretty nice. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna back out now. And what's my appearance rate looking like? 200 ops to go, hopefully I can get Azura here. Uh, I'm gonna go with the redstone once again. Like I said, I don't really have much interest in greenstones now. Now that I got my non-minus attack Hector, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna get Summer Young Tiggy, yes. So the one I've got right now is minus speed. Um, and I can merge this one, even if this is minus speed, and just, uh, just neutralize their IV, I guess. Alright, here's Tiggy. Now, I just want to mention that I'm not sponsored by Bolganon. Um... <laughs> I just like to use them for convenience sake and the developer of this is my friend. So this is a neutral attack, neutral speed, plus defense, minus HP. Yeah, pretty good Tiki, I'm definitely going to be building her up. Alright, that's a, that's a pretty good unit. Now if I can get Marth right here, right beside Tiki, that would be, that, that would be insane. Come on Marth. Please get summoned. It's another Tiki, wow. In a row. What? That's insane. Two summer Tikis in a row. Okay, this is uh, this is plus attack. Now this is some nice stuff. Plus attack, minus defense. Uh, 
I'm definitely gonna be building this up. Plus, attack is definitely pretty nice with her effective weapon. Uh, I can just use her for arena assault for killing those nasty dragons. So, just gonna be building up this plus attack IV. I'm really curious to see if I can get a third 5 star unit in this patch. I did get like 5, uh, I did get like 3 5 star units in my Christmas summoning video. Um, so, really pushing. Okay, I'm gonna get my third 5 star. <laughs> what is this? What's happening? Third 5 star unit in a row. Hell Bendy. What are you doing here? Okay. Poor Hell Bendy didn't even get the chance of celebrating uh, New Year's with the Book 2 OCs. I feel really bad for him. He's one of the best OCs. I'm not really too sure why they just uh, excluded him. Plus attack. Wow, that that's amazing. And uh, plus attack minus HP. Wow, that's that's a fantastic IV Hell Bendy. The one I've got right now is uh, neutral IVs, completely neutral. Okay, I'm gonna try to push my luck and see if I can get the fourth five-star unit in this batch. It has never happened to me. The most amount of five-star units I've got are three in a batch, and there's a there's definitely hope. Okay, it's Frederick. Never mind. <laughs> but still, I have that colorless stone. Maybe I could get Veronica from here. Okay, let's go with this. Come on. Let me set a record, please. Yes, there's the smoke. Please do not be risk. It's gonna be Legault. Okay, th that's a good one. He had he at least has good attack tactics, so... Yeah, that's not too bad. I got two uh, Summer Young Tikis in a row and Hell Bendy. Wow. I'm definitely thinking of... Uh, <laughs> I'm definitely thinking of making a plus 10 Sorin because I do like Sorin a lot. And... Uh, he does score pretty nicely with the green uh, dual infantry skill. Okay, so Marth is the only red hero which I need from this pool. Got two Tiki's, one Flora. Alright. Moving on, we have got another question. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the final one for this video. Uh, so, N7 is just asking how to get better at Smash Bros. Now, I think that I'm just decent at Smash Bros. I'm not really any kind of high level player or anything like that. But if you want to get better at Smash Bros, at least this works for me. I'm a visual learner. I like to see the videos of the character which I'm trying to play um, and trying to learn. That definitely gives me an idea of the options and the things which like top level players do in certain scenarios like how like how a certain top level player uh, comes through with the uh, match where he's on a deficit. So I'm really uh, on the side of watching videos to learn, like tournament videos. A really recent example of this is that I'm trying to watch um, Allies tournament videos because I really like Snake and uh, Ultimate. I think he's a really fun character. So I'm trying to learn him and I've watched uh, pretty much all of the tournament videos of Ally. My favorite one is uh, the Grand Finals from Montreal's uh, one tournament where in the Grand Finals there was a Ganondorf versus Snake. So I really liked how that Ganondorf just rushed down Snake um, whenever Ally threw grenades. So that's the thing. I just like to watch videos and just practice a lot with friends uh, basically. And I do have friends who are just higher level players than me or just same level players so we can just push each other to be better at the game and that's uh, a thing which you can definitely do have some kind of practice partner and you can just freely play with them online can be definitely pretty dodgy to be honest uh, with this GSP and other things in ultimate I definitely like prefer arena play with some kind of friend instead of like uh, Elite Smash or something like that. So just watch a lot of videos. Try to see what like things they do in certain situations because uh, a lot of things don't really come to mind to us when we're trying to play that character and we see a top player do something uh, in a certain situation. So that just clicks with us um, and that could definitely help improve your gameplay. Okay. So, I just got Katria and Lucas. Now, as I said before, Katria is the only neutral IV unit which I'm missing. For some reason, I sent home my free Katria uh, whenever we got her as a 3-star reward from the Twitter poll. I think I think that was it. The White Wing Quest or something like that. So, I'm really trying to get a neutral IV uh, Katria to make up for my sin. 
Um, that's why I never use Katria in my free-to-play guides. But Katria could actually be pretty good uh, for some maps. Okay, I'm just gonna get Pala. What's happening here? Okay, I'm just gonna back out then. Come on, please give me those blue stones. I wanna get Camilla. I've summoned no focus uh, five-star unit from the blue pool. But honestly, I got that really nice badge earlier on uh, with three five-star units, which was insane. I don't think I've summoned like the same uh, hero in a row like I did for the uh, summer young Tiki. I'm gonna get Gwendolyn and Effie. I really prefer Effie over Gwendolyn, to be honest. Uh, but Gwendolyn does score much better in Arena. With that speed super boon. But I just prefer Effie as a unit. Um, Effie was my second plus 10 unit, which I made. Marth was the first plus 10 unit, which I made. Marth was actually the first 5 star unit I ever summoned on Fire Room Heroes. He was the first unit I plus and merged. Okay, finally got this uh, rare blue stone. Never mind. It's gonna be another Gwendolyn. Okay, I have my friend Adam who's been trying to build up a plus in Gwendolyn, and uh, he's not been able to summon any kind of Gwendolyn for many, many months. He's probably really mad right now. Okay, uh, let's go with this. Hoping for Marth. Please, Marth. Okay, never mind. Close enough, I guess. <laughs> We are in his games, so maybe I'll summon Marth. Blue stones, please. Yes, this is absolutely fantastic batch. Three blue stones and one red stone. Perfectly balanced, as it should be. Come on, give me that Camilla, Azira, Silas. Yeah, that's fine. Your steady stance, and I also want to build up a Silas with good IVs, like plus attack, minus speed. Uh, that would be pretty nice. Florina, okay. I honestly would like to use uh, Azura on my Flyermum team, but I just I just have that Flyermum team as an Earth team with uh, female Grima. So I'm probably just going to be using Legendary Azura as my uh, unit on a mixed team. I'm just going to be getting Olivia, okay. Uh, I'm going to back out. 100 orbs left, exactly. Come on, Azura, please just show up. If I get another Camilla, that would also be really fantastic. I would really like to run her as a Blade Tome unit on my Flyer Room team and give like the extra juicy wave to my Valentine Lin. Come on, come on. Any kind of 5 star unit from Blue Focus, except for Fiarm. <laughs> okay, Sully. Getting the Christmas Cavaliers after Christmas. I'm trying to focus on Azura now. Uh, come on. Nope. It's gonna be Robin. Robin is a really good uh, cheerleader now. Whenever uh, Blue Infantry Duel comes out, he's like amazing candidate for that. Odin is also really good, but the thing is that you cannot really run swap. Um, okay, I'm gonna get Camilla, yes. Finally, a 5-star unit from the blue pool. That's amazing. Okay. Now, please do not be something like minus speed. That would be nice. Even if you are, uh, the new mechanic will be fine with that. Oh, plus speed, minus, uh, minus HP. No, not minus HP. This is plus speed, minus defense. Wow. Perfect IV spread on Camilla. I'm definitely making you my play to unit for my Flyer Room team and giving that other Camilla to my Valentine Lin. All right, at least got uh, Camilla. I'm pretty close to completing my high priority, as you can see. Just missing Azura. Absolutely perfect, Camilla. That was that was amazing. Camilla just has much better stat spread than Corin. And okay, speaking of Corin, she just got summoned. <laughs> she probably heard me. Okay, let's go. A lot of uh, units on uh, Azura's Legendary Hero Battle actually represent 
uh, the units from Fates, who are close to Azura. Someone actually pointed that out on my Twitter. Nah, uh, back out. Like that, uh, Fire Sweep Sword Flyer is probably representing Ryoma. The healer is probably representing Sakura, the infantry healer that is. Uh, there's one blue mana heat on the map as well with Lightning Breath. Probably representing uh, female Corrin. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go with the Redstone just to see uh, what's up. Maybe I could get Marth here. Oh, it's gonna be stall. And there's also that Sword Cavalier, uh, which you could say that is Xander. Uh, I'm gonna go with Redstone and probably just leave then. Okay, Olivia once again. What's my appearance rate? 8.5. Okay, this is pretty good batch uh, with three blue stones. Okay, I'm just gonna get Lucas. Yeah, I would probably check Lucas as uh, as one of those units in the wishful thinking feature, which I talked about earlier. Lucas doesn't really have much to offer, to be honest. Okay, Est. Wow, okay. Uh, please do not be another Est from this stone. Azura is the only really unit uh, left which I really, really want from this banner. All of the other units which I wanted, I did get them, except for Marth, but that's fine. I guess I'm gonna summon on Redstone. I'm not really too sure. Uh, I guess I'm gonna do that. Nope. It's gonna be Hinata. Worth it. Still 8.5. Okay, I, I guess I should have summoned on that stone. Really hoping for a Zira here. Come on. Sully. Nice drawback. Only 36 orbs left to go. Uh, on 1st of January, we're going to be getting a lot of orbs. We're going to be getting 42 orbs from the Tempest Trial and a lot of orbs from the monthly quest as well. I'm going to stop now. It should be a 9 now. Yep. Okay, at least I'm getting blue stones. The worst feeling is getting like no stones of the color you want to summon on. Okay. Hit and run. Come on, Azira, please complete that high priority on my layout. She could actually complete it right here. She could. Never mind, it's uh, stable. The uh, Panther. Okay. Just one blue stone, come on. I guess you really want to give me a Zero Azic Blood Summon? I don't know. I would really like that, to be honest. Yes, I'm gonna get a Zero Azic Blood Summon. There we go. Yes. Yes. Finally got her. Her IVs are irrelevant. Uh, she's a dancer, singer doesn't really matter her broken weapon and uh, assist skill is the only thing that matters to be honest okay so this is minus attack yeah I, I don't really care about that to be honest plus resistance minus uh, attack did I select the correct Azura yeah okay I did uh, yeah I'm fine with that no problem at all her attack is not really all that good to begin with now it really doesn't matter, <laughs> but she's extremely fast, so that's uh, that's a pretty good thing. Has got prayer wheel, absolutely insane buffing weapon. She's the best blade tone buffer in the entire game. Gray waves, we know how annoying this is from the legendary hero battle. I guess legendary hero battles do exist to show the annoying side of that legendary unit. Um, attack tactic, aerobatics. Absolutely amazing. Now I'm gonna try to get Marth here. Uh, if I get Marth, that would be amazing. Here is also on my medium priority. I mean, I would like her uh, to 
increase some lift, but if not, that's fine as well. I'm not too crazy about it. Alright, she does look like her mother a lot. So at least they didn't completely forget her mother. Like they did in that uh, Adrift banner. I'm gonna stop now uh, with 10 orbs remaining. I could actually go with the Colorless Stone trying to get... Uh, trying to get here. Never mind, it's not here. Do I want to summon on this green stone? I guess I'm gonna do it. I don't know. Maybe I'll get Hector here. Who knows? Nope. This is gonna be... This is gonna be Nino. So got Azura as my Clutch Summon. Absolutely fantastic. Don't really care about her IVs all that much. And uh, this was a really, really good summoning session. I got pretty much all of the units which I wanted. Uh, so absolutely phenomenal summoning session. Also got that batch where I summoned uh, three five-star units in a row. That was good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know about your summoning results in the comment section down below. You can even tweet them at me on my Twitter. And the giveaway is going to be in the description, which you can enter. And if you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like. And uh, if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe for more Fire Mom Heroes content. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.